Hey guys, this is Stephanie Farron, the Media Specialist at Butler High School, and this quick video tutorial is how to monitor student use in Canvas to show that students are actively working in Canvas and using it if you do not see them in a face-to-face -face setting. So I am in one of my teacher's courses right now to, to show you a teacher perspective of how to look in uh, at the monitoring used for students. The first thing I want you to know is that there's no clear one-size-fits-all, um, that there are a lot of different places and a lot of different items. My suggestion to you would be to print off um, some blank um, score sheets out of PowerSchool and then pick dates and times that you are going to do a spot check to know that your students are logging in and what they're working on. It's also beneficial if you have something that is due, that's tangible, that will be graded at certain marks, maybe every day or every other day. Um, when you're online, it kind of becomes more important. Um, as always, just like in class, you have students that can take 10 minutes and get everything done and, and master a subject and you have kids that will take hours and still won't get it done. So the important thing is to make sure that your students are logging in and that they are still getting the information and if not they know how to reach out to you. So the first way to see what your students are doing in class, and it's the quickest, easiest way, is to kind of view as the whole class what's going on. So to do that on your class, if you'll go down to settings, there's going to be an option in settings uh, for course uh, statistics. Um, and so that's going to kind of give you uh, kind of the overall view of what's going on in your class on a day-to-day -day ba basis. So in this class, we have a running assignment. We have four assignments, 46 uh, assignments, four discussions, uh, 53 active students. So it kind of shows you what's up there. You can see your quiz submissions and all that. You can click to assignments. You can see the same thing. Uh, when you get to students, you can see your users. When they logged in and what's most recently happened. So if you're going to do a spot check for today, you could do this and then quickly scroll through to see who's logged in and, and when. Um, and when they're not in a regular setting, you know, it could be one o'clock in the morning or whatnot. So this may not be the best place to find uh, information, but it is going to give you a starting point to see who's logging in when. And if you've already told your students that, hey, I'm going to check to make sure every Wednesday you've all logged in, then this is a quick way to do that. Another way to do this is simply from your home page of your course, scroll to the bottom and you'll have something called View Course Analytics. So if you click View Course Analytics, and this might be on the right hand side of your screen too, depending on how you have it projected, it's going to give you by date and activity kind of a, a global view of the entire class. It's not going to tell you individual names, but it's going to tell you what students are doing. So if you notice, we've got two different colors. We've got participation and page view. So if I just want to see that kids are actually logging in and actively participating in my class, um, this would be a great way. I can see submissions, whether or not it's on time, missing, or late. Um, and again, and it's just all submissions is not by date. Um, a grade distribution and then here at the bottom it's going to have kind of students, the number of views, the number of participations, the number of submissions. And if you notice there's a little uh, up and down arrow here. So if I want to see the students that are not logging in my class, if I flip it, uh, obviously uh, this student is my lowest participating student in my class. So that's going to kind of give me a quick view as well as to which students are logging in and which students are participating. And I can adjust each of these as needed um, to see what's going on. Um, this also quickly shows me if they have assignments, if they're missing, if they're late, what their current average is, um, how much they participated in the course. So again, these are two quick ways that I can see um, if my students are logging in and if they're actually participating but they're global, they're, they're all the students. So if I want to look to see if a particular student is logging in, we're going to uh, go back to the home page and we're going to go a little deeper here. So the easiest way to do this is to go to people and then under people you'll notice that all your students are listed. Um, I wish this would be under gradebook and it's not. Um, this is another good way because it will give you your list and it will show you um, their last activity and their total time. Now again, um, it depends on how much you were using Canvas before you went out on leave um, as to how much students are using it. But obviously, um, what, regardless, you'll see which kids are active. So for each student, I can click them. And then it's going to give me the average in the class, the missing, the late, just like I saw in the course analytics. But I can do individual analytics for this student. I can also email them from right here too if I need to. So when I do analytics of a particular student, then it's going to break it down 
by that student. And I'll be able to see what that student did by date, uh, whether or not we communicated. This is, may or may not become extremely important if we're out for an extended period of time. Their submissions, not the class submissions, that student's submission, that student's grades. So that is going to um, make it a little more specific to the student instead of to the entire class. And then finally, the last thing you can do to drill it down a little further to see what a student is doing, you can either click on the student name and then click on the student name again, or you can come over to the three dots menu and look at the user details. Either way is going to get you where I'm going to show you. So I'm going to click on their name and I'm going to click on their name again. So now I'm looking at this student's biography of Canvas. I'm looking just at the student like we've been doing, um, but if you come down, um, you're not going to be able to see any other enrollments from other classes, but that's fine. Now we've got some options. I can look at the student grades, so I can see what that student's been doing, so I can break it down, okay? I can come back and I can look at the interactions report so I can see if I've been communicating with that student and what the communication was. So this may become extremely important, especially if you've put in a requirement that the students need to contact you sometime during the week. We have an access report for each student. So when I click the access report, it's going to show me what that student's been doing in class, how long ago, and how long. So that's going to be really important. Let's look at the next one we have um, outcomes. So if uh, you've set up outcomes in your class, for example, maybe you want them to master uh, a, a standard point, that would be outcomes. Not everybody has outcomes. And then finally, analytics, and that's going to bring you back to something we've seen before. But again, it's going to show you what that student's been doing by date, by view, by communication, and by submissions. So for me, if we we're going to be out for an extended period of time, the one I would want to double check uh, a little bit as this access report to see what that student has been doing. If you have a question about that, remember that anyone that has a global um, Canvas ad, uh, admin account, so for example, Ms. Slack or Ms. Farron, can log in and look at any student and we can actually tell you um, how long they're working in your course, which pages they're on, um, and for how long. Um, and so we can see more than just your course, whereas you may only see your course and that work. But um, it does show you how many times they participated, how many times they're viewing it, how many times they're getting into the assignments. And so this will constantly change based on what they're doing. So this will be a good thing to do. Like I said, my suggestion to be would be to print off some of those blank um, uh, roles from PowerSchool and then pick some dates and times. Make sure it's very clearly conveyed to your students that hey, I'm going to check to see that you've logged in every day and not only just logged in, but have submitted something. So maybe I want an activity or a discussion or um, an, an assignment or a quiz, something so that I know the students have done their work. Um, and then I can just quickly put a check mark through and scroll through my students to see if a student's been in my course for an unusual long number of hours. Maybe I need to reach out to them and ask them if they're having trouble and they don't understand it or if they got busy and they had to walk away. Um, so that's going to give me some just helpful, useful feedback back.